I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I'm kind of obsessed with not being interested in fashion. It's uh, something I care deeply not about. And I'm aware that not being into fashion is a fashion choice, right? How annoying is that? It's like, oh, you're not into fashion? That means you're in norm core. Why can't I just wear clothes to cover my disgusting body? <laughs> Why must it be a choice? Because the only choice I make when it comes to clothing is, does it still fit me? <laughs> I don't know if you've had an opportunity to fat out of clothes. <laughs> That's a special feeling. <laughs> watershed moments in your life, right? When you hold your newborn child or you fat out of a t-shirt. It's amazing because you don't even go to the obvious conclusion. You're like, well, this sure used to fit. I haven't grown since I was a teenager. Oh, I'm a fat ass. Well, time for a burrito. I don't know. The best is when you pack for a trip and you fat out of clothes, but you don't realize until you get there. <laughs> you sit there and you go, well, I guess I could wear that as long as I don't breathe out. <laughs> or sit down. You ever wear a shirt you can't sit down in? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna stand. I know it's Thanksgiving, I'm more thankful standing. <laughs> Better angle for carving. I still have all the clothes that don't fit me. They're in my closet in case I have a dramatic weight loss over a weekend. It's ridiculous. It's like I'm curating an exhibit of my weight gain. Well, that suit was from 30 pounds ago, and that sweater was from last winter, and this shirt, this shirt never fit. Have you done that? Have you bought clothes that don't fit, thinking that'll be the incentive to lose weight? It's like, well, I've only gained weight for the last 40 years. Maybe this shirt will turn it around. How'd you lose weight? I bought a shirt. It worked. Now, fashion's kind of wasted on me. You know, like those fashion shows? To me, fashion shows just look like skinny teenagers walking around in their parents' clothes looking for food. <laughs> wow, there's no food out there. All right, I'll change my outfit and look again. Fashion shows are rather absurd when you consider they're just people sitting around watching people walk around in clothes, which is what people do in clothes every day. But at fashion shows, they're so fascinated, they're like, oh my gosh, oh wow, look at that person walking close. How do they do it? Oh, if only we could watch them do laundry. And we all know what a fashion show is, because we've seen it on TV. In December, they televised the Victoria's Secret fashion show, which is excellent, by the way. <laughs> well, that one's different, because there's angels, so there's a spiritual aspect <laughs> to the thongs they're peddling. It's interesting, all the models are beautiful. You ever notice that? You're like, yeah, Jim, that's the point. <laughs> no, but all the models, they pick people that would look good in any clothing. Like, if you want me to buy a suit, show me Michael Moore looking good in it. <laughs> and I'm not picking on Michael Moore. I'm friends with him. I like Michael Moore. And not just because he proves you don't need to shower to be famous. <laughs> you ever see Michael Moore on television? He looks like he's been robbed of everything he owns. <laughs> Are you the victim of a shipwreck? <laughs> what happened? Pull it together. You won an Academy Award. Stop shopping at the lost and found! <laughs> but I understand Michael Moore's mentality. Fashion's not gonna change his life. It's not gonna change my life. I look the same whether I'm wearing a t-shirt or a tux. I still look like someone who eats fast food. <laughs> Probably because I do eat fast food. I look the way I look. Look, I didn't vote for Trump, but I walked around New York City and everyone the week after the election looked at me like, you did it. <laughs> I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> but after a couple days, I was like, did I do it? 
I know people are scared the, about Trump being president, but I can tell you, as a straight white male, I feel like I'll be okay. <laughs> My wife hates that joke. <laughs> and I love her, but not enough to get rid of that joke. <laughs> I would do anything for my wife. I, I'm aware of that. But there are people that are more romantic. Prince Edward abdicated his right to the English throne for the woman he loved. Isn't that unbelievable? He was forced to choose between the woman he loved or being king of England. And that idiot <laughs> chose the broad. Now, I'm sure in that moment it was the right decision, and I'm happily married, but even in the best relationship, each person has thoughts where they go, I've made an enormous mistake. <laughs> but we never thought, I could have been king of England. <laughs> Do you think Prince Edward really ever got over that? Every time he had to empty the trash, he's like, the king of England doesn't have to empty trash. <laughs> The King of England can chat with his ex on Facebook. <laughs> can you imagine what kind of news event that abdication was in the UK? There, there must have been, he's gone mad. We should get him to hospital. <laughs> Jim, your British accent is getting worse. <laughs> Why wouldn't you take five minutes and learn a good accent? It's just lazy. It's just lazy. <laughs> My wife's pretty amazing. She is better at things, and I'm not ashamed to say that. Like her guilt trip, legendary. <laughs> My wife is half Catholic, half Jewish, so her guilt trip is like a superpower. <laughs> I walk in a room, she looks at me, and I feel horrible. <laughs> and that's called love. <laughs> We've been together so long, I will get angry about a guilt trip she hasn't even given me yet. I'll be like, I'm gonna watch the football game. She's like, okay. And I'm like, cause I want to. <laughs> I'm always in trouble with my wife cause I'm selfish, I'm lazy, and sensitive, a bunch of other stuff she rattles on. <laughs> and I understand being in trouble for stuff I've done, but sometimes I get in trouble for stuff other men have done. Once I got in trouble for something a guy did in a movie. I was watching a movie with my wife, and in the movie, there was this married guy with children who left his family for a 20-year-old woman. And I knew in that moment, I should sleep on the couch. <laughs> and the movie ended, and my wife looked at me, and she was like, why would someone do that? And I was like, uh, it, it was in the script? I didn't say that, I just said, where do you want me to sleep? Oh, that was fun. You know what? I'd love to have more fun times with you. And you know how we can do that? Is if you hit subscribe or if you let me move in with you. I have constant diarrhea. Why don't you just hit subscribe?